Hey everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're turning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. And welcome to another episode of Dave the Diver. In the last one, stupid shark ate us again. But on our second dive, we did much better. We were able to get all the things we needed, including shells and computer components to make a drone. I left you off here with Miss Yoshi. They have found an applicant that's supposed to help us. So let's see what's going to transpire now. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. All right, so let's check out the staff. We'll hit the you're hiring. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. Koyoko, you're hired. Okay, so her serving's 35. Let's hire. Right now, we just need help with serving food. I'm gonna make money fast and go traveling. All right, Kuyoko, you do you. Welcome to the team, girl. All right, looks like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. Okay, so let's place them. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. Add them to the kitchen to cook more quickly and to your dining area to serve food more quickly. As for our first staff, let's try a dining area assignment for now. I agree, Miss Yoshi. I think that should be enough to go on for now. I'm stating the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Oh, you can train them, eh? All right, so let us... We did the staff thing, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I wanted to see... Before I forget, we can do another hiring, right? Now that I know that we can hire someone for the kitchen. Now, if we do a TV ad, it says that we can recruit staff a level higher than our current cookster rating. I don't know what our rating is. And we have 700. Let's, let's go with that one for now. We'll run the TV ad. Hiring has begun and we should find out in the next dinner service, right? I think that's how that works. Okay, and let's do the menu real quick. Let's not forget to do that. That would be embarrassing. We're always going to have the green hump head on the menu. It makes good money. Let's make black and white snapper. I'm going to increase it by one. That face gets me every time. All right, that's how the menu is looking. Let us go ahead and start service. All right, some tea. Here we go. Does she not pour tea? Not too bad. She's going, she's going. Oh, shoot. I'm coming, sir. Oh. Almost missed that. Oh, yeah. Perfect serves. Perfect. Look at the staff. Oh, I mean, look at the customers. Holy smokes. Yeah, Mancha's gonna need some help. I'm glad we ran that ad. I'll keep up with the wasabi. Oh boy. Come on, Boncho. I got this one. There you go. You get this one. I'll get the next one. You're doing great. Koyoko? Uh, who wants this one? Oh, I should have given it. Uh, I messed that one up. That was my fault. I don't think I'm going to get to him. Can you get to him faster? I don't know which one of us is faster. Oh, we're going to lose one customer. I'm running. Oh, man. Things are getting harder in the restaurant. Mancho's going to need some help because he can't do it by himself. Yo, making money, making money. Not too bad of a service. We need some of those better tiered fish, though. What does Thursday have in store for us? <sighs> no, man, Dr. Bacon drives in here like a madman. Good morning. Sorry I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? Oh, come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? <laughs> I repaired the drone just fine, thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also... Oh, thank you. Dr. Bacon, will these do? Alright, let's head back to the rock pile. 
Oh, wait. I haven't finished starting today. Oh. The Cobra Shop is officially open. Oh, no. What kind of Ponzi scheme? Huh? What is that? <laughs> Deliveries have stopped, but the drone is in working order. I can transport three types of items in a day. Okay. Talk to me and select the Cobra Shop to see a list that changes every day. I'll also buy some stuff you don't need. Check out the Sell tab as well. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to be able to prepare. <laughs> I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. Oh, Cobra. I feel like you let your business tactics slip just now. In any case, it's time to head back to the rock pile where the signal from the sea people was detected. Okay. Are we going to blow stuff up now? You can buy auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra Shop. The Cobra Shop is only accessible in the morning and afternoon. Purchase items can be used for one day, so keep that in mind. Oh, Yoshi, who's blowing up my phone? I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you'll have to take care of many things all at once. Okay. So I've decided to give you a management app, which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. That sounds handy. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it on your smartphone? I am sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Okay, a lot of things happening this morning. Very busy. You can check Bancho Sushi Bar information using management app. Check it on your phone. Ah, just in case there is something worth documenting, how about taking this underwater camera with you? A camera? That's right. It will be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Okay, okay. Everybody needs to calm down. I'm sure Dave is overwhelmed because CLR is. Okay, let's check our phone. So let's check out, what was it, Cobra Shop? Where's Cobra Shop? Maybe I just talked to Cobra, it's not an app. That makes more sense. Now, in the l last episode, we found out that Ellie was using us for this Echo Watch. Do you get money for this or something? You progress. Left control for rewards. Echo Health Bracelet times one? Oh, so that gives you like different challenges? I see, so if we find more bones, we get a reward. You get reward points by completing this, and then there's different levels. So the first one is gonna unlock this health bracelet, a level one health bracelet. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for things. Killing jellyfish. If we remove lionfish and jellyfish, oh, I can do that. Okay, cool. And then, management right app let's check this out and this is just a quick way we can see our restaurant details oh can i no i can't upgrade or anything here we can see our staff awesome that's handy okay and let's talk to <laughs> oh i see cobra shop sign right there there we go oh okay what is this a waterproof cargo box that can be stalled underwater. Acquired items can be stored inside, and stored items will automatically be retrieved upon leaving the water. Oh, well, that's cool. We can kind of throw some stuff in there, and we can take... Let's try it. We'll take this with us. It's only for the, the day, the whole day, right? This pearl, I can sell it. Is that all I can do with it? I could try selling it at Cobra Shop. Yeah, I think that's all we can do with those items. Okay, I'll hold on to the gold bar though. I don't know why, I just, I don't want to part with it. All right, well, let's head down. We're gonna try and reach the entrance of the sea people again. Oh, it's looking a little different today. Hello everyone, oh, let me. Grab some fish this morning. looking pretty today maybe because yesterday it rained and it was so gloomy but it looks pretty the colors the coral there's that net gun kind of want to try it out I know it's probably a waste with these guys did I just catch three yeah it looks like it yeah that's cool 
How big of a fish can I catch? Look at the coral they close when you swim by them. I think I want to take my gun just in case. We're going deep today. There's an oxygen there. We gotta remember that. I should have taken that extra oxygen that he was selling. There's one of those. Let me kill this humpfish. That'll be good for tonight. God, these guys are so tough. Go away. Oh, and the shark. Oh, we're pissing off everybody. I gotta check this though. Oh boy. Maybe I don't. Maybe we just... Oh, don't eat me today. Don't eat me today. Okay, we still have 70 oxygen. Getting closer. Oh no. There it is. There it is. We're here. Try placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you on that rock pile. Okay, there's a barracuda trying to eat me, so, you know. Oh, I get it. Oh no. Oh no, don't hit me. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I am struggling with that. I should have brought an oxygen. Hey, Cobra. Can I have one of those? Alright, well, let's try this disaster again. I did bring the oxygen this time. Let's try heading out to that entrance again. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna head straight there. Oh boy. Heading straight down this time, and there's this guy here. Ooh, the poison one. I like that. Where'd he go? Oh, please don't see me. Nope. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. Okay. It's because we're so deep our oxygen is dropping like a stone. What is this? All good? You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. <laughs> we can't have you torn into a thousand pieces and become food for the sharks. That's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Now, back away from the bomb for a bit. Okay, let's yeah, get up higher so we're not... There, that should be enough. Here it goes. Watch out, fish. Oh, snap. Nice. Now the road is clear. There's a faint light coming from inside. Go on inside. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Dr. Bacon. Uh, what if there's a monster or something inside? That would be an amazing scientific discovery. Okay. Listen, Dave, nobody cares about you. Is this thing... Am I gonna die in here? Okay, new region. Sure. My oxygen's not high enough for this. What in the name of naked Poseidon is happening? See people record chamber. Wow, this place is... Wow! It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a sea people civilization in this region. Look at that mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seismic activity? It's very astute, Dave. A good point, but that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please, first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. I ain't gonna be able to find Jack. Guys, I can't stay here. Is my oxygen staying? This can't be a natural pillar. There are even mysterious characters engraved in it. Okay, my oxygen's not going down. I was about to say, I gotta go. Naked Poseidon? This mural seems to be of a warrior or king. It looks powerful. There seem to be scales on the lower body. Is this really a mural of the sea people? Wow, we are deep. What is this over here? Nothing. Okay. A painting of dolphins and marine plants. 
Apparently the sea people could draw, not only write. Good, that should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a picture with the camera that I gave you. Right, yes, a camera. How do I do that? Oh. Thank you. New content. Camera. A camera icon indicates that you can take pictures. Check your objective on the top left. Got it. Oh no. Use to adjust the focus and remove your hand to take a picture. Make sure your timing matches the green indicators. Got it. Hold to focus. Got oh, Okay. Oh, I see. You gotta let go. Camera focus. Restart. Fail. Okay. Is that not green? Ancient people. Camera focus. I didn't get the mural. Am I too zoomed in? How's that? Ah, perfect. Okay. Now ah, we're getting it. In. Oh, no. Huh. I see something on the floor there. Oh. It might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me. Oh, Dave. We're gonna die. We're gonna die because greedy people don't care about Dave. An artifact. Oh, great. Let's just steal from here. It's the sound from before. Hmm. A record chamber filled with Sea People symbols. What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back up to the boat for now. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here, Dave. Stealing crap. All right, Poseidon, Seaman, Merman. See you later. Thank you for not killing me. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Take that oxygen and try and get up without dying. Okay. Now I did see, be careful there's that shark or whatever the hell it is. There he is, oh God, nope. Don't feel like dying again. Okay, let's go up a little higher. Nope, oh, there's a barracuda. Can we kill these things? Oh. oh, there's so much bad. Let's get up a little higher to that oxygen. Where's that oxygen I saw? Man, I, I didn't get the jellyfish. Oh no. I did see an oxygen, right? Yes. I am going to kill you. There, fine. You get you happy? Is that what you wanted? You're poisoned. Get poisoned. <laughs> Jerk. Alright, we have oxygen. We are better. I'm gonna try and catch some fish for tonight's service since, you know, something happened in our first dive. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Kill these lionfish. Hey, we did it! Excuse me, lionfish, I need your little body. Oh. Hold on, I was just kidding. <laughs> just kidding about kidding. Get poisoned. Alright, I think I'm gonna head up. My pockets are full. And I want to see what that artifact is gonna do. Let me check in here. A cheap Japanese sword. We're gonna head up. See, if I would have bought that storage thing, I could have emptied my pockets and kept on diving. But that's good for now. There he is. Hmm, a Sea People artifact? Oh, very interesting. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural further at my lab. I'll be in touch. Alright, guy's nuts. What the hell is this? 
Sea Blue. Hey, hey, you there. I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Oh, uh, about that, um, I farted. <clears throat> we are Sea Blue. We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them. All right, John Watson. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. I've had reports of someone who has been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. Uh-huh. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue and me, John Watson. <coughs> that hurts my throat. Now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving for now. We're watching you. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> you gotta love the cause, though, right? You gotta, you gotta love them. Cobra just drinking a beer like nothing. What a creepy dude. Will we be okay? I don't think so, Dave. We're in danger. You in danger, girl. See, Blue, that group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporations with big fishing businesses and not the small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. I mean, we did detonate a bomb, so... I expect that they're taking bribes or something unsavory like that. Uh-huh. That guy looked like bad news, Cobra. It won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. I was careful. It was your damn idea to blow up. <laughs> Beyond the rock pile. There's the hall for today. Let's see that parrotfish. I'm interested to see how that'll do. Wrap up your day and get things ready. Oh, and we got some new applicants. We need one with cooking. Wow, this one has 107 cooking. We're gonna have to go with that guy. Let's head on over there now. Oh dear, the VIP appeared. Vincent. Hello viewers, this is you from the TV show Star the Chef. Today I've come to a seaside sushi bar. That's all the rage on Cooksta, Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar, that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yamoka. <clears throat> I am Vincent Yamoka. Hello, Vincent. How would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. There's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen, how good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, and how it was molded. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes? Oh boy, this guy sounds like a boncho. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of the fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Regardless of the taste, this shows lack of respect. What? You have once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Bancho Sushi will be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Bancho. Um, this is a bit sudden. I'm called Bar... He's quite reticent. That can only mean he speaks through his cooking. What? This sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole, and the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. Wow. You there, Boncho was it? Your name? Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Blech. This guy. Wow, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. 
Uh. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and an exotic uh. chef. Things are getting real interesting. Welcome to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef. Oh, oh boy. What did we just get into? What are you thinking? What are you going to do? A man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? What ingredients? I need some sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. They can both be harvested in the limestone cave about 100 meters down in the depths. 100 meters down? We gotta upgrade our equipment. Mmm. You're gonna make sushi with those? Okay. A limestone cave, right? Uh, I'll go look for them. Gourmet's Vincent Challenge. New content. VIP. Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. Oh boy, that was a lot. <laughs> But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We'll save the dinner service for the next one like we did in this one. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Dave the Diver, I love starting it up and just... There is no plan for the episode. You try and plan something and the game has a whole different plan for you. And I love it. And I hope you guys are loving it as well. But that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you all watching. You have a good one. Stay safe. And until the next time, bye.